Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to a market review. Here's the SPY today. Uh, I called this market bullish this morning and really thought it was very low odds that the market would follow through. In fact, yesterday when I saw the minute announcements come out, I thought, boy, that's really odd. Uh, I thought the market was going to actually rally over the high on the minutes announcement yesterday. And when it did it, and the market had this huge fall off here, it was right at three o'clock. Well, it started here at two and then it fell and broke the low at three o'clock. I thought, boy, that's strange. And then when I woke up this morning and saw the gap, I just got a feeling that we were gonna hold today and I read the gap and didn't really believe that we were gonna come in. And I need to point out that even if we had, it really would have been intraday bearish, but long-term still very bullish if we had come in today, but we, we didn't even do it. So a week ago today, yeah, it was a week ago today. A week ago today, I did a webinar. And in the webinar, I talked about the market fall off that happened on the 13th. Yeah, it was the 13th. And I was talking in the webinar that I did live. And I said, don't believe this market's coming in, even though it had a big red bar this day. I don't even know if anybody believes me anymore. Because I keep talking about how bullish the market is. And people continue to want to short this market. But it's not a short, it's bullish. And we are, we're going to get over the highs. And when we do, whenever that happens, and again, I do not know the exact timing of that. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. Market will hold the strength today. Likelihood of a gap up tomorrow and follow through. It could happen tomorrow. I don't think it's going to happen today now here because there's only two and a half hours left in the day. It could have. Market's certainly strong enough. It could. But I think more likely we gap up tomorrow and race over the high tomorrow. If not, we're still setting up to do it sometime soon. The next time the market does get over the highs, though, it's going to have an enormous green fat day. And we're doing it today. This is actually like a sandwich. Let's talk about this in the trading room this morning. This is a piece of bread, and this is the piece of cheese. And then this is the other piece of bread, which is squeezing the cheese. So the market has gotten to the target today for the long, which is here. But when the market starts to lift over here, and then over here, and then over here, it's going to blow out people that shorted this market here and here and here because people did short this market. They thought the market was extended here. Then they thought this buy setup failure here and the lower uh, high here was the reason to short. Then the market gapped down. Then it fell in the buy setup here and did a second lower high and people did short this. You can see that people shorted this here. You can see it. It's a terrible trade and this is not the people that are controlling the market, but people did short it and it's not the right way to trade. So for the lesson to be learned here is that even if you like to trade long or short, whatever your typical bias is, and for me, actually, it's shorting, which is what's, it's just so ironic that I've called this market so well to the upside when I like to short. I mean, if somebody asked me, what do you want the market to do, Melissa, you know, personally to get shorts to dream targets day after day after day after day after day in an ideal world the market would be falling off the planet so i don't i don't call the market here the way i see it based on um, any particular bias i'm actually reading what's i'm seeing here in the price when i make the determination i'm reading the gaps and i'm reading the price and i've been reading this market very well for someone that likes to short to the upside the market is to the upside the market is strong it's proving that it's strong there's been no clean pull-ins to even properly buy this market here. Even today, if I was like trading this, like pretend this was a one minute chart, this would be not a preferred entry. It's a cheat entry here to buy a sandwich like this. It's a cheat. It's not preferred, it's not clean because the market hasn't come in cleanly. It came in and immediately did this action here. It's been very sloppy. It's been hard to buy this market creeping up like this without any clean pull-ins. And yet you can't short it. People are making the attempt to short it, looking at the extension and the lower highs and the buy setup failures. But they're also doing that because they're desperate to get some type of volatility or to get some kind of entry. But clean or no clean, the entry is only one directional bias, which is long for the market and the only way to play it. And people were talking about shorting this market this morning. I said, no, I, 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 you actually could have bought the market here. Let's go. This was, this was, you could have done this this morning here. It was like right before 10 o'clock. And again, you know, this is, this is not easy to read. It, it, it was a good call that I made for the market to hold today. 
I thought the market was going to hold right here immediately. Came in, broke the low, and then it still held. Double bottomed here, and you could have bought the market right over 86 with literally a negligible stop. 10 cent stop, you could have bought the market over the whole number here. You could have added in here, lowered the stop, and the markets rallied all day and ran up. Ran up almost $2 from the entry. So you want to trade with the momentum, which is to the upside. It's to the upside in the longer term chart and intraday. The SPY is bullish, the Qs are bullish, the market's bullish, and it's going to make new highs. And it looks like it's going to happen soon here now. So we'll see exactly what happens tomorrow, but there are no economic reports tomorrow at all. So whatever the market does will be in its own accord. I think the market's probably tired today, and it's just going to close looking very similar to this. There's a small, small chance that in the last hour of the day, and to 3 o'clock major reversal time, the market gets over the high. I mean, it's just so close to doing it now. It actually could still here yet today. The market's power trending here, and the sandwich is target is met. Uh, so this is Melissa with the stockswitch.com. Call for the market today was long, and the market turned out to be that way. Small chance the market could make it over the high of the day. Most likely, the market gaps up or is a neutral gap tomorrow, and then climbs over the high tomorrow. When we make the new high, people that shorted this market here on the two lower uh, highs and the extension will be taken out of the shorts and the buying is, is real. So the buyers come in, the shorts get stopped out, and that's what's going to make the market really go uh, very aggressively over the high and make new highs in this market. It's March 2014. There doesn't seem to be anything stopping this market from going higher for the rest of the year. So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you'd like more information on how to learn how to read charts and price and gaps, feel free to email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Very important to trade with the proper direction, and the way that you read direction is actually trading and reading gaps. The class for the gap course is this weekend, March 22nd and 23rd. Feel free to email me if you'd like to sign up. There are still some spots available. Melissa at the stockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a fantastic day.